This is a quick demo to help you get started with your Passwords Fast unit. First, remove the plastic film from the unit. Notice the letters are in white and the numbers and special characters are in blue. To enter a capital letter, use the Shift key. To enter a number or special character, use the blue Function key. Let's get started by turning on the unit using the On-Off button located in the top left corner. Press and hold down a few seconds. In the rare occurrence your unit doesn't turn on after a few seconds, turn it over and simply reinsert the battery. Now, let's get started. At the Create Password screen, you'll set up your master password. This is the only password you'll have to remember. For the purpose of this video, I'll use the password TEST with a capital T, one, two, three. I want a capital T, so I'll first press the Shift key. Notice the Shift symbol will show in the top right. Then press the T. Don't press them at the same time. I will continue to press the E, S, T. Now I want a one, so I will first press the FN key. Notice the FN symbol now in the top right. Then press one. Again, don't press them at the same time. I will continue typing a two by pressing the FN key, then two. Press the FN key, then three. You can do a long press on the FN and Shift key, allowing you to type capital letters in a row or numbers and special characters in a row. Hold the Shift key and notice the lock. Press again to release. Same with the FN key. Press again to release. To delete characters, press FN, then backspace. If you want to insert a space, press FN, then space. If you want to just move left and right, simply press the arrow keys. I'll continue to delete the characters I don't want. Now that I have my password, press Enter. Type in the password again. Press Enter. Enter a one-time security phrase. You will never have to remember this. This just makes the encryption stronger on your unit. I will enter some lowercase letters, capital letters, numbers, and symbols. Press Enter. Press Enter to confirm. Your initial password has been set up, and you're now at the screen to start entering passwords. Notice the Add button. It's in blue, so you need to press FN first. Press FN, then press Add. The first piece of information it will ask you is description. Most people put the name of the website. However, you can add whatever you want in this field. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll add Facebook. If you want to add .com, you can quickly do this by pressing the FN key, then the .com key, saving you some keystrokes. Once done, press Enter. The second piece of information it will ask you is username. For most, this is your email address. However, you can add whatever you want in this field. Once done, press Enter. The third piece of information it will ask you is password. Enter your password. Once complete, press Enter. Press Enter again to confirm. You now have your first entry. Continue adding entries. I'll add one more entry for this demonstration. Notice, entries are listed in alphabetical order. To quickly search for a particular entry, press the search button. Enter a partial description. In this example, I'll type BA. Press enter. It will render back all entries with BA in the description. Press enter. 
and use the up-down arrow keys to get your information. The escape key will always take you back to the main screen. Turn off your unit by pressing the on-off key. For more detailed information including editing and deleting entries, the option menu where you can increase the timeout feature and darken the text, among many other important features, consult the manual.